Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a Haitian favorite, Lumbi en sauce or stewed conch. I will show you how I clean and prep it. We will then marinate and cook it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. So you guys, as much as I would love to tell you that this conch was purchased on the beach from a local fisherman, that is not the case. I bought my conch from my local Caribbean supermarket. It comes frozen, usually in a five pound case. I first thawed it out in some cold water and then cut each piece into thin slices, as you can see. You guys, I wasn't about to have you just sit there and watch me slice two and a half pounds of conch. Um, I clearly edited this to make it go faster. I will later give you a clear visual of what this looks like once it's all prepped up. And here it is you guys, two and a half pounds of nicely sliced conch. And now, to show you how I clean my conch, I use the juice of two lemons, three quarters of a cup of white distilled vinegar, and two cups of water. So you guys, what we're doing here is we are actually washing our conch. Um, it's very important for us in the Caribbean to wash our uh, our meat, our seafood, whatever animal protein that we use, okay? Um, so by rubbing them together against our lemon juice and vinegar solution, we're getting rid of any extra little particle or bacteria, right? So we're washing it as much as we can guys after giving my conch a nice clean rinse it is ready for the next step okay you guys so this next step here is totally optional as most people do not season or attempt to add any flavor to their conch prior to it being cooked I just figured the more flavor the merrier and for that reason I decided to add some of my zero salt all-purpose seasoning some onion powder um, a little bit of olive, olive oil to bind the flavors together before cooking it. Another thing, you guys, um, one of the rules of cooking conch is that you never add any salt or any seasoning that contains salt to your conch prior to it being cooked. Apparently, the salt does not help the muscle to loosen up. As a matter of fact, it makes it even tougher and therefore will take even longer to cook. So you guys, my conch has somewhat been marinated. Um, I've allowed it to sit for only about 15 minutes and is now ready to hit the water. Let's cook some conch, you guys. Okay, so my burner is set to high. My pot is very hot. As you can see, I am adding my conch in there. The next step is to submerge the conch in some water. I will use only four cups of water. Um, we basically need enough to cover the conch, that's all. Um, I will then bring this to a boil, and then we're going to cover it and lower the temperature to a medium low, and allow it to cook for the next two to two and a half hours. So 
So you guys, while most people use a pressure cooker to minimize the time that it takes to cook conch, I just don't own one. I've never felt the need to buy one. Um, I really enjoy cooking. I am never in a rush to cook anything. And I firmly believe that food just tastes better when it cooks slowly. That said, if you do have a pressure cooker and you don't want to wait that long, go ahead and do your thing. As you can see here, you guys, the water is boiling. I will then reduce my heat to a medium low. I am going to cover my pot and allow my conch to cook for the next two hours. After two hours and 15 minutes, I want to show you guys how tender my conch is. As we all know, taste is also relative. What does it for me may not necessarily do it for you. Texture to me has always been a major thing. While most people prefer their conch so tender that it almost melts in their mouth, I actually don't mind just a little bit of chewiness, which is why I actually prefer grilled conch. And so while two hours and 15 minutes was enough for me, um, if you like your conch extremely loose and very, very tender, you may want to cook it a little longer. As for me, you guys, my conch is cooked and is now ready to be prepared. Here are the ingredients for our dish, you guys. I will list them all in the description. I begin by chopping up my vegetables. I'm using my scallion, my red and green bell peppers, my thyme and scotch bonnet pepper. I will blend them and use them as the base of the flavors for my sauce. My vegetables are in my mixer. I am now adding a little bit of olive oil. Um, I will also add a little bit of salt uh, before blending them together. At the very last minute, I remember having some allspice berries, so I decided to add those to my mix. My seasoning is ready you guys you guys I also forgot to mention tomato paste on my list of ingredients so here it is
Okay, you guys, let's cook our kunk. So my burner is set to medium. Um, as you can see, my uh, pan is warming up here. I've added some olive oil. I am going to combine my garlic. I will allow it to saute for less than a minute. Um, and then I'm going to add my tomato paste along with my blended seasoning. Um, let them saute a little while longer, about a minute or so, before adding my conch to my pot. guys please take a minute to give me a thumbs up please share my video please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so i would greatly appreciate it So you guys, now that our conch is in the pot, what we're doing is we're blending everything in. Um, two things, we want the tomato paste to give our conch this beautiful color. Um, secondly, this is the time where the conch is going to absorb all the flavors of those uh, blended seasonings, all of our peppers, the thyme, the scotch bonnet pepper, etc. As you can see, our conch is getting this beautiful color. Now is the time to add our salt. So I am adding a bit more of my blended seasoning along with my lemon juice. You guys, as you saw um, on the picture of my list of ingredients, I had a sour orange. Um, to my dismay, when I opened up that orange, I could only squeeze one drop of um, juice out of it. So that did not work out very well, but it's okay. I have my lemon and I only needed one anyway. It worked out, um, it's gonna be just fine. So you guys, after allowing my conch to soak up all of these flavors in my pot for a good two to three minutes, I am now going to prepare my sauce. I'm going to use my conch broth, which is the water that cooked the conch. This is pure conch juice, you guys, full of flavor. Um, I'm going to add some little by little. The goal will be to allow the sauce to take in all the flavors in the pot. So as you can see here, I am adding more vegetables to my conch. I'm adding um, my peppers. Um, I will add some onions as well. Something about peppers, you guys, especially the red peppers when you're preparing a dish like this, it is a must. Something about the, the, the sweetness of the red peppers, it really brings 
binds everything together. Um, so always consider using um, red peppers for any stew for that matter. So you guys, I decided to add another teaspoon of my tomato paste as I felt the, the sauce needed a little more of that sweetness from the tomatoes. Um, and what's also going to happen because of that tomato paste is my sauce will thicken up. I um, am going to add more of that Kung broth. So that, that's, that tomato paste will help that sauce become richer. Um, it's gonna be a bit thicker. It's going to be perfect. I also decided to throw in a whole scotch bonnet pepper in there. Um, this time it's not for the spice, it's really for the flavor. So you guys, I am adding more of my broth from our conch to the pot. I want plenty of water in there because once I'm satisfied with the taste, I'm actually going to cover up my, my pot, reduce my heat to low and allow the flavors to come together. Also allow the sauce to thicken up a bit. I am also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of this Creole seasoning as my very last step, my last touch. Um, so basically, this seasoning was introduced to me uh, by a relative who knows that I'm not into anything with MSG. And um, I wanted to let you know what it consists of. And basically, it has salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, um, garlic, dehydrated garlic to be exact um, it does also say spices which you know whenever we hear that you know we, we we're skeptical right because we don't know what that is exactly um, however my main thing is the no MSG and so I figured you know this is not going to hurt me this is not something that I use on a regular basis and I think the conk can really use it after all it is um, a Creole dish that I am making so this can only enhance the flavor Okay, so I am adding a quarter of a tablespoon of a teaspoon of this Creole seasoning to my conch, and that is it. We are going to add a little more broth, cover it up, um, let it come together for, like I said before, another um, 15 to 20 minutes, and our dish will be ready. And here she is, you guys, my lambi en sauce or Haitian stewed conch. Guys, word cannot express how delicious this dish was. My husband and I had it two nights in a row. While the preparation of this dish is time consuming, I can tell you that it was worth every second that I put into it. It was simply divine. Um, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. It costs you absolutely nothing to do so. Um, thank you for watching. We will see you next week. Please be safe. Bye.